Brian Griffin. I'm, uh, I play with the Lone Velo. We're here at the uh, Paradise Rock Club in Boston. Sold out tonight, really excited. And uh, this is the debut uh, headline tour with the Lone Velo. And we're excited to be here and selling out some shows. And um, the record's been selling really great. I'm here with the Vader guys. Excited to uh, be playing their products for a bunch of years now. And um, let's see, I, I grew up in Connecticut. Been in New York City for about 12 to 14 years, and uh, after college I went to Manhattan School of Music and got to study with John Riley and played jazz there. And You know, New York's a super inspiring place, a lot of great musicians, and um, studied Brazilian music with some people there, studied jazz there, and then, and then you know, got into playing with singer-songwriters and rock bands, which has always been inspiring to me, because uh, you can get into different sounds and it's just a real fresh thing when a songwriter comes to you with their very fresh song that's brand new and they ask you for your fresh reaction to it. And so you can just take whatever you want. You don't have to refer to someone else's tradition or a hundred years of jazz history all the time. You can just sort of be who you want to be. And anyway, I, I happened to meet the, the guys in the Lone Bellow maybe three years ago now through a, a scene in New York. There's a place called Rockwood Music Hall and a bunch of great singer-songwriters there and um, I saw Zach Williams the singer there sing one night and he was just knocked me out and, and, I, and uh, some people I was playing with introduced me to him and <clears throat> we ended up making a record with this band uh, maybe six months after that and uh, the record's doing great Charlie Peacock the uh, Grammy winning pro uh, producer for the Civil Wars made the record with us and um, it's been a great tour happy to play Great Vader things. I love the uh, Monster Brush a lot. I'm a big fan. I tried making these myself for a while because I, I I wanted so many pair and, <laughs> and uh, but they got the bristles right. I know this is technical, but the way they make these are fat enough so you get a super um, just a wider, deeper sound. Yet it, because the bristles designed the way it is, and you'll just have to pick up a pair, check it out yourself. It's light enough that you don't break your elbows, which I have done, <laughs> making these brushes out of like broom corn or whatever it is. And, and I sort of, you know, this is not actually what they look like. I've, you know, stolen some ideas from guys like Sean Pelton or Jim Keltner or whatever. But I put a couple dowels and sand them down just to give it a, a little bit of a backbone, but then you can can flip it over just to get a little bit of a ping on a ride cymbal or a hi-hat or a rim of a drum if you want. But I love these. I, I use them on almost every session. There's like some reason to have that sound on a floor tom or a big open you know snare with the snares off or something. Those are cool. But the, uh, the first product I really got into was um, probably not long after Vader first uh, started with their own product line was their, the Manhattan or the Los Angeles 5A. And it's just, it's just been such a consistent stick for me. Um, I, you know, occasionally some other sticks will come around and I'll try them for a second, but like, there's just a thing when you're in between either takes in a studio or on a gig and I, you know, you just go to get a pair out or in between songs or something. It's just like, I don't know, they, <laughs> maybe it sounds corny. It make, they make me play better. They like, there's a width to the shoulder that's got a little more meat to it and then the consistency of the wood and the density of the wood just feels like the stick has got me. Like I'm driving a BMW or something. I don't know. I, I really dig it. It's been a great company. They've been great to me for a while now. And um, I've also recently uh, just started checking out Josh Fries's model. I haven't met him yet. I love his playing, but the, the H220, it's just slightly, they, they, these guys say it's in between the 5A and the 5B, I don't even notice it being that close to a 5B, but it's got the same profile as the 5A, but just has a little more meat to it, and, and I love just that with the 5A also has just like this beefier shoulder, and I end up flipping my left stick around a lot, so it's just nice to have a little bit more weight here. It's a super solid stick. This is an incredible piece of art right here. Check it out. <laughs> this is the Josh Fries Vader H220 model. I'm super psyched to be playing these. And, you know, there's a bunch of products I also use at home that I don't always get to use on the road, like the, the bamboo splash stick I really like. Uh, I use those a bit like on, on sessions at home. Uh, you know, I was talking to these guys before that um, I've started doing sessions at home just for little TV commercials and independent films and stuff where I've learned to just like mic up drums and just go into a laptop with a very simple preamp and all that and um, 
you know, some of these products that you can use for quieter sessions. You know, you can learn a lot about your own playing that way. And, I don't know, all these Vader products have been super helpful to me. Thanks for checking this out. Definitely check out Vader products at vader.com. And my site is briangriffindrums.com. And uh, I'm on the road now with The Lone Bellow. So thelonebellow.com. We've got a bunch of great shows coming up. And uh, hope to see you around. Thank you.